Hi, my name is Julie Doran Clark. I am here to talk to you about PEX, uh, which stands for Picture Exchange Communication System, and that is the topic of my communication video. So there are six phases to PEX. The first phase teaches the person how to communicate, and so that would involve you would find a picture that the person finds highly desirable, of an item they find highly desirable. You would put the picture on a table or something um, next to that person. And then you would prompt that person to pick up the picture and take it to a communicative partner and put it in the communicative partner's hand. At that point, the communicative partner would praise the person and immediately give them the desired item. Once they have learned to do that consistently, the person moves on to phase two. In phase two, there, we're trying to teach the person distance and persistence. So we would teach the person to go to a communication book and, well, communication book, take the picture of the desired item, travel to the communicative partner who is not right next to them, and place the picture of the desired item in the person's hand. Again, receiving praise and the desired item. Once they have learned to do that consistently, the person moves on to phase three, which is picture discrimination. And so in this phase, we're looking to teach the person to discriminate between different pictures. So in this phase, we might put two pictures next to each other on a table. In one picture, it might be a highly preferred item such as french fries. In another, it might be a less or non-preferred item such as broccoli. So the person would be prompted to take the highly preferred item. They would pick up the highly preferred item, hand it to the communicative partner, put it in their hand, and again, receive praise. Over time, that person um, will also be taught to discriminate between um, two preferred items, perhaps. So maybe a picture of french fries and a picture of cookies. And so again, that person would have them both available and would select one and hand it to the communicative partner and receive that desired item. Once they are doing those things consistently, they'll move on to phase four. Phase four involves teaching sentence structure. So in this phase, we teach the person to select um, something that indicates I want and to place it on the sentence strip and then pick up the picture of the desired item, in this case, a cookie, next to so it then communicates, I want cookie, and take the sentence strip and hand it to the communicative partner. Then again, receiving the desired item. So once the person has been able to do that consistently, then we move on to phase five, which is responsive requesting, or basically learning to answer the question, what do you want? And so the prompt would be given, what do you want? The person would go, again, locate their sentence strip, put their I want icon on the sentence strip, select the picture of what they want, and give, um, put the picture next to the I want and give it to the communicative partner. Uh, and again, receive that and be reinforced for that. After they've uh, mastered that phase, they move on to phase six, which is commenting or answering a variety of questions like, what do you see? What do you hear? Um, and so again, we would teach the person, we would ask the question as a prompt, what do you see? And they would put the I see um, icon here, and then a picture of whatever they saw. So it, perhaps it's a ball. They could then put I see ball and hand it to the communicative partner. So that 
is all six phase, phases of PEX. It can be used um, with individuals of all ages uh, and has been shown to be effective in, with people with autism. Thanks for watching.